get to a zone defense or a man-to-man -man instead of pressing on every made basket. I think they're going to start doing possibly man-to-man. -man. Either second period or third period, either man-to-man, -man, I think they're going to go back to. Yeah. Well, well, I, the first period was, I mean, yeah, the first period was, you know, pretty good period. It's just the Tory Colts overwhelmed them with the press. The press, you know, they every play they hustled down the court. Then when Southfield got the ball, they pressed it to him. Another thing, I don't think Dana Hill took control like she did in the first half of that Southfield Latham game. Dana Hill scored yep. like 15 points in the first half and only scored four in the second half. Dana Hill will have to take over. I think Southfield's going to stay in the I game. think Southfield, when they bring it down court, they know the rush is not working for them to get down the court and shoot it up quick. I think they got to get down, set it up and then shoot. Yeah. Wait well, for the open man. We'll see the second half, the second period when it's about, they're about to begin. Pass to Crystal Town to Dana Hill. Dana, Dana Hill brings it in. This is what Dana has to do. Good layup. Oh, oh it's a miss. You have they to make those. Southfield will have to make those. If Troy Coach control the ball and he knocks back in the game. The most important thing, they cannot let Troy get out too far ahead. Yeah, that's the thing. Because Southfield, wow. Southfield isn't really the team that could come back. I don't, I don't big, really think so either. From a big deficit. Southfield five, number 25. Crystal Towns. That's her first foul. That's Southfield's 13th foul here. The first, first shot. Half. It rings out. Second shot. As you can see, Southfield's clearing out for the rebound. And she makes it. Oh, they're back into the press. This surprises me a lot because they might get some cheese later in the game. Later in the game, but let's see, will, I, let's I, see how long this will keep up for. They might stop it halfway good through. Pass. Oh, that's a follow Troy. As Dana Hill pass was intended for Yvonne Hammonds. The foul was on number 32, Pam Stouffer. That's her first foul. Troy's 13th foul in the first half. Dana Hill back out of the top. Dana Hill will have to take over. Dana Hill. He has to get the game in control. Got dribble up top. Crystal Town controls the ball to Dana Hill. Dana with the ball. Dana Hill trying to find an open, open girl. Dana shoots. She shoots. Oh. Good save by Yvonne, but Troy control. Three point guard. 32 Stouffer. Oh, Angie. Pass to number 35. That's right, Troy got the ball inside. They cannot, Southfield cannot let Troy get, control the ball inside. They gotta, they gotta get inside the block. Southfield's getting beat on the offensive board and inside game. This press is really getting to Southfield. This is really slow. Another turnover right there by Southfield Blue Jay. Troy calls, bring it back. They cannot let this happen. I think Southfield should call timeouts. They score right now. She shoots over Crystal Town. Crystal has to get the rebound. Rebound Crystal Town. Get out to Dana. Dana, she's going to have to up to the game. I really. I think Southfield might have to up to the game. I think Southfield might have to take a timeout and regroup. Something will happen. If they do score again, I think Southfield will be a wise decision for their coach to take a timeout. They're down by eight. Erica Perro, good steal by Erica. She brings it down court. Brings it down. I think she's going to take it herself. Oh, she's dropping. Well, to slip away from Erica. That's one of the reasons why I think they should slow it down a little bit. On the fast break, I can see that, but on other plays, they get a little bit too wild. Daniel Hill will have to make things happen. That's the only way I, I feel suffering in this game. That's very true. And I, I really think they're not playing with intensity today like they did against Lakers. Right now, they play a little cut and drop. As you see, Angie Knox throws the ball away. That's a throw, inbounds the ball. Dan Hill, number 11, bringing it down to Angela Turner, number 13. Short sure scored six straight points in Southfield. Ryan Hammond, oh, she good fouled. Pass, good pass. That was good passing. That is how Southfield will have to break the trap, as you see right there. She's going to shoot two at the free throw line. Two Another critical out. part when they do get on the line, they got to get at least one out of two. It, th at this, least. This is why the Latham game was so close. Latham, Southfield Latham made the free throws, but Southfield has trouble hitting free throws. Yeah. And Southfield will, will have to make free throws in order to stay in game or in an even win game. He's fine here. Mr. Fruit. 
free throw. But good good effort though. These these free throws are very important. They could be in the game if they made their free throws. She attempts a second. It's in. That's in. It's now 12 to 5. Troy calls over Southfield. 550 left in the quarter. That's the second first half. Like Detroit, back inside. They cannot let the ball get in. They got to get the three. There you go. Crystal, Crystal Town. Towns. Crystal Towns had a hell of a game on the board. Crystal Town, number 25, a senior for Southfield High. Let like the captain, David Hill, brings up the ball to Ryan Hammond. Look at Andrew Taylor. Ryan Hammond over. They got to watch. Okay. At the Perot. Crystal Towns. She, oh, she's blocked. Bring it back out there. What Southfield has to do, bring it back out. Number 35. Pass it around, pass it back. Angie Taylor, she shoots, she misses. Southfield will have to convert to get those boards. Get, get three by They got to have somebody inside. She's five. Oh, it's traveling. Southfield has to get somebody in by the boards. They Southfield's can't have. Not playing with the intensity they played with last game, and that, I think that's hurting them right. Southfield's basically playing a perimeter game. They're not. Nobody's inside to catch the reads. And I'm telling you, this Troy team is a very good team. Basic thing, they're just trying to get the ball. Number 11, Dana Hill, bringing it down for Southfield. Let's she see what has she has to. She has to keep to. going. She has to. She has to keep that ball going. Bring it back out. Shoot the three. She's also more at last game shooting the three. Today she, she seems timid shooting the three. She has not looked good since that first half of Tuesday night's game. She had a poor, horrible second half. And Erica Perot shoots, misses. They have to be more patient. And so I bring it down, number 32. Foul, Angie Taylor. I believe that was a good foul there. She had an architect's foul that 426 remaining in the half. Troy Coast 12, Southfield yeah. Blue Jays 5. It's a low scoring game so far. Three people reporting. Melanie Williams making her first appearance tonight in the game. Sharice Woodfield and Tiana McWaters, both starters, come back into the game. As the coach shoot their first free throw. Personally, I think they're going to. Yes, Pat? No, I was going to say, I think they're going to have Sharice, Angie Taylor, and by Hammond, stay out until next game. I mean, to the second and a half again. I don't think they'll see much more playing time. They might see a little bit, but not much I more. I think you're trying to rest Erica and uh, Yvonne by putting uh, Melanie in right now. Melanie, she has a big task right now. She has to do something right now while she's out on the court. She dribbles it up top. Pass to Cherise. Cherise has to handle those passes. Cherise shoots. Uh-uh, you cannot be, you gotta be more patient. Yeah, Southfield will have to be a good pass out to Dana Hill. Dana was hit though. Number 52 gets it for Troy Cole. with the rebound. Angie Knox, Angie Knox brings up to the top of the key. Pass the number Cochran. to Angie Knox. Out to Stouffer. Stouffer passes, oh, Melanie, good play by Melanie Williams. Good defense by Melanie Williams. This is what Melly has to do in the game. Sharice Winfield gonna take it out, try to pass it to the captain, Dana Hill. Oh, bad call, call, call. those dangerous passes, those cross court passes. Dana Hill gets the ball. She has to go right down the middle. That's all she has to do. She has to bring she it can inside. Take anybody, I think. Now she has to in go inside game. and somebody has to stay underneath the board to get the rebound. Sharice Winfield with the ball. Crystal Towns have to stay underneath. At least As you one can see, person. Troy right now is playing a man to man. Right, right now, Troy yeah. is playing a man to man. Like and I Southfield's said, having trouble handling it. As Crystal Towns is ripped. Pass to Angie Knox. She pulls. Oh, good pass by Angie. Did not handled it well. Like I said, I thought Angie Troy Knox. was going to bring back the man to man. She shoots. She misses. Troy gets the ball back though. Misses Melody again. Melanie Williams, good job, Melanie. Melanie now brings it down. She. Melanie Williams. Turnover. Good, good so, try. Southfield will have to. Good try by Melly, but I think Melly should have waited until Dana Hill came down. They have to cut down on turnovers. Good play by Southfield. Sharice Whitfield, in the right number place 23. In the right <laughs> you see? That's Tiana McWater. She has a very good jumper. Whenever she gets a chance to spot it, very deadly. Sharice Whitfield with the ball. Down the lane. She's off. Rebound. Southfield's not on the board. They're getting beat by this crowd. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Troy Southfield's ball about 2.30 remaining before the halftime. It's 12 to 5. Troy Colts over Southfield. Yeah, Troy did go back to the man to man. They quit the press. Yeah, the press is, no, it, it is. It's, no, they're not. 
Look, they're basically going back to the man-to-man -man right now. I don't know, maybe until they get rebreath or whatever, but it's the man-to-man -man is still working for them. It seems like they're, they're, they're throwing picks at the bottom of the lane. But, but if you think about it, Southie's not doing that bad. They're down 12 to 5. Yeah. But they got to keep it this way. They oh, can't have a score. again on defense. She's just playing a good game. Tiana McWorth. That's Chris Thomas with the ball. Give it to Tiana. Tiana brings the ball up the court. Lady Hill will have to take over, as I've been saying all day. They just don't see one right on that. Oh, bad pass by Melvin. Yeah, there we go. Also by Cherise. Good hustle by Cherise Winfield. Cherise Winfield. Well, timeout on the court. Score right now with 144 left. Detroit coach 12, Southfield High 5. Well, so Pat, as we can see, Troy, they seem like, you know, they're doing everything right. Yes. But I, I still think Southfield can make a run at us. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's only 12 to 5. It's not that bad. They're only in the second period. They got a chance to come back. Southfield. They got a long game to go. It's a man 44 before the halftime. And Southfield, I mean, they, they played poorly. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie about it. Southfield's played poorly so far. And just to be down by seven points, that's I, I not didn't that think bad. People, Southfield can come back from this. I think the timeout was needed, though. <laughs> Both teams need a rest before. Yep. The teams come back on to the court. I believe it's Southfield's ball if I'm not. No, it's Troy's ball. Number 24, Natalie Barna, making her first appearance and bounce the ball. Oh, it's over and back on Troy. Oh, no call on it, but it was over and back. And they shoot, oh, Troy shoots and misses. Big scramble south of this ball. Troy's Whitfield, he bounced the ball. Today they hit They're back in the press. As you we walk. Bring it back down. They had the back in the press, I think, after that timeout. They went back to it. And the coach got... is talking to Angie Knox, the, the point guard for the coach. Rebound. The coach, as they bring it down, they up tempo in the game. Sharice Whitfield. Oh, great D. Great, great defensive play. Troy Coach Wall still. I think Sharice got hurt on that play a little bit. A little muscle tightened up a little bit. Right. Hurt in the arm a little bit. Troy Brink. Troy brings oh, it out. Still by Dana, she brings the ball down. Dana Hill, number 11, bringing it down for Southfield. This Southfield. is an opportunity. I think they should have run it back. They had a chance to run it back. They should have run it back. Eric Capuero shoots. Missed. I mean, that field goal percentage is very low. He missed about every game shot. Oh, I missed Maya. Southfield, Sharice Winfield gets it. Number 11, Dana Hill brings it down. He's having a good game on the board, Sharice. To the top of the key. Driving. Oh, good pass by Dana, but oh, they took the hands of oh, 32 seconds remaining. <laughs> oh, down court, fast break. Dana. McWater. <laughs> Tiana McWater bringing, bringing it down time, court. At eight time, we're going to be talking. 15 seconds time. remaining before. We'll be talking. Yeah, got Oh, yeah. Troy Steele. 14 to 5, 7, 6 seconds. 5 seconds to go. 3, 2, 1, that'll do it before halftime. Oh, hey, how, would you, how would you evaluate this first half, Pat? <laughs> good, good playing by Troy Cole. Southfield has to improve over halftime. Okay, right here, here at halftime, we have varsity guard uh, DeAndre Martin. DeAndre, have you seen this first half? How do you think Southfield is playing? Well, you know, they're not playing up to their full potential, but that Troy team is really good, you know? So I think they, they might come with a, a good outburst. Dana Hill, she, she hasn't been doing as much as she was doing like that last game against, um, it was at the Southfield late today. Yes, yeah, the first half, she has really a good game, but the second half, since the second half of that game, she really hasn't been playing well. Yes. Southfield's Southfield only down by nine, you know, that's not too bad considering Troy did use the press and the man-to-man. -man. 